Uh, Aaron Rodgers. I think we have a clip. Yeah, this yes. is him on the Pat McAfee show. Yeah. Does that have something to do with the Epstein list that came out? <laughs> Feels like, feels like. <laughs> that's supposed to be coming out soon. That's supposed to be coming out soon. Look at this guy. He's been it's waiting in his wine people. cellar. Yeah. I've been waiting in my wine <laughs> cellar for this thing. <laughs> a lot of people, including Jimmy Kimmel, are really hoping that doesn't ah, happen. Please. <laughs> All right. All right. Obviously, a clip from this particular program was run on Jimmy Kimmel's show uh, whenever Aaron brought up the, the list and then. Jimmy mocked him for it. Mm -hmm. Aaron has not forgotten about that. But here we are sitting right in front of that nice bottle of scotch. Mm -hmm. What do you say? I'm waiting to celebrate something. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's awesome. been waiting That's for That's the that. one. <laughs> you been waiting for hey, I'll tell you what. If that list comes out, I definitely will be popping, popping some sort of bottle. All right. So, listen. By the way, doing a Zoom from a wine cellar, yeah, that, is a, yeah. that is a power move. That's some white privilege right that there. Wow. It's, it's actually red privilege. Yeah. Bordeaux. <laughs> well done. I, I I am telling you that I have traveled extensively with Jimmy Kimmel. And if you're into something, you find out when you're traveling with the person. Mm -hmm. I've traveled with other people. I won't use their names, but... They'll have an app of where they can get handies and, uh, you know, happy endings and stuff like, you know, you're going to be in Toronto for three days. Yeah. And you're going to need a happy ending. Like, that's crazy. What's the name of the app? People <laughs> <laughs> Helping Hand. Oh, okay. Yeah, well look that up. I'll download it. No, I just mean, like, when you travel, your thing comes out that doesn't really come out at home. Like, mm -hmm. if you like to drink, you may not be drinking at noon if you're hanging around with your wife and kids at home. But yeah. when you're on the road, you will say, hey, bud, let's go get a beer. The show's not till seven, yeah. you know? And when you say beer, you mean five beers, but sure. whatever. Like, or like even stupid stuff like movies you wouldn't have seen, you will go see them because you're, my you're, thing. You're, yeah. you're, on, you're on the road. Mm -hmm. um, when you travel, and I've been to Jamaica and I've been, stayed in Goldfinger's like a lair and stuff over there. <laughs> like there's compounds and yeah. stuff like that. I've traveled with Jimmy. Yeah. If this was his thing, I would know <laughs> you it. You would know. I yeah. I would know it because it would either be a conversation or it would be where's Jimmy? Right. And then it'd be like, he's not doing dinner tonight. Jimmy's he's getting lost he's kinda, all the time. <laughs> he just wants to see the town. <laughs> you know, he'll be back at two AM. So 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 you're saying when you were on a private jet with Jimmy Kimmel, the stewardess never came by and said, uh, vodka for you, Mr. Corolla, and uh, uh Young seven year old boy for you, Mr. Kimmel. Like, not, never said anything not like that. his thing. Okay. He is the most decent person I've ever met. It, nobody likes kids in a healthy way more than uh, more than Jimmy, and it is just not in his DNA. So right. this is one hundred percent about nothing. Can I read his? Uh, yes, you his can read his to response. Aaron Rodgers. Mm -hmm. So yes. he he quoted that video and said, "Dear asshole," with two A's for Aaron. Uh, for oh, the, <laughs> I didn't even catch that. For the record, I've not met, flown with, visited, or had any contact whatsoever with Epstein, nor will you find my name on any list other than the clearly phony nonsense that soft-brained wackos like yourself can't seem to distinguish from reality. Your reckless words put my family in danger. Keep it up, and we will debate the facts further in court. And then he tagged Aaron. Yeah, well, I agree. And, uh, you know, we're living in... a. Uh, I, you know what I don't like? I don't like when fake news is, is fake news. Like yeah. what I'm saying is, is there's a lot of misinformation that turn out to be true. Just say about a subject like COVID or Hunter Biden's laptop or any of the stories that have been going around January 6th or whatever. This is fake news. Jimmy Kimmel's the most decent person I've ever met. Hey, I like I said, I would know it because uh, we've traveled extensively, been in plenty of uh, exotic locations, mm -hmm. and there's this is way before the ring doorbell was invented. <laughs> so you could kind of do whatever you wanted, and uh, that guy's you know early to bed, early to rise, and uh, let's let's work. One thing I love about a you you defending Jamie is because because you're a friend, you know the man. But also, I think it's safe to say that you and Jimmy Kimmel uh, probably don't agree politically on absolutely everything. But I think this is a good message to, to 
people out there because, yeah, you can have people in your life that don't agree with you on certain aspects politically. But as long as they're good human beings, they they care about their family, they pay their taxes, they don't have a rape dungeon. Yeah, uh, I feel that you can get along right. with that person. He didn't say Jimmy didn't have a rape dungeon. Oh, so no. well, bra- breaking yeah. news. He's got <laughs> pizza ovens, but he doesn't have rape dungeons. Okay. okay. 